Wait, wait a second. T two snake oil videos on one day? While my plan was actually to make less snake oil videos. Uh, yeah, well, I, I can't help it. There are two new plugins released today. Uh, this morning we had Smart Comp and now we've got something called the Morph EQ from Minimal Audio. So uh, uh, let's take a look. All right, so the people from Minimal Audio did give me early access to the Morph EQ so that I could check it out and have launch day content ready. They emailed me out of the blue. I didn't request it or something. And they are not getting access to the video before the rest of the world. And I do have a feeling that I can stay pretty independent because of that. If you want to support my independence, make sure to do that by using my affiliate links. I've got Toman over here and Sweetwater over here. Uh, when you're buying new gear, use my links. QR codes, they're also in the description box down below. And thanks a lot for your support. I've got early access, but I've got no website or claims or something. Or while they do have one sentence in the email, Morph EQ is an expressive EQ designer allowing you to create morphing filter movements by drawing endless custom filter paths and navigating them with the Morph knob. Uh, so it sounds very interesting, it sounds a bit weird, and that's actually why I want to take a look at it. Because honestly, EQ plugins have to be kind of special uh, before I'm going to be bothered by it. Most of all because they are all the same. They're all some kind of a FabFilter Pro-Q3 clone. Or sometimes not, I don't know. So yeah, I want to dive into this uh, together with uh, all of you uh, without any instruction or what, whatever. One thing that I've noticed already is that... Um, I can't move any of the knobs, so that's weird. Uh, we've got a cue here, what's this? Adaptive cue, okay. Filter solo. Like, oh, this this thing works. This thing works. This thing doesn't work. Soft clip limiter, series parallel. No, no clue yet. Let's run some audio through it, as always. It's a synth version from, from... Can't remember the name. Oh, there's a very fast uh, spectrum analyzer, actually. Calm down! Calm down with your spectrum. Can we change that? No. Okay. I think, uh, I don't know. Double click. Ah, that's cool. Cool. What's this? Shift. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. That's nice. So basically shift and skill are uh, our frequency and gain selection, I think. I don't know. And uh, yeah. Oh, what's this? Morph. Points are used to build segments. I don't know, morph. Oh, I think that I know what this thing is and why it works this way. I, I understand it. Uh, it's not for everybody, but honestly, I do need a plugin like this more often than you might think. <laughs> so let's, let's see if I've understood it. I've got a morph knob, which goes to zero from zero to 100. And when it's on zero, it's at its original EQ point. And on 100, it follows this path. And when I turn it up, it should follow this path and end over here when it's at 100. Uh, this one should do this and this one should do that. So let's see let's see if it does if it does that. Yeah 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 yeah. Now I know that this will make sense for a lot of people but also a lot of people who don't really understand why why you want this? It's basically to do EQ automation. And normally what I would need to do is uh, automate the individual parameters. But doing it like this, then I can just automate this this knob, the morph knob. And, uh, oh wow, this is not a plugin that I actually just need to install on my work system. Because this, this will save me so much time. Makes things so much easier. I can just use the morph knob now. So I just automate the morph knob. And then in here I can draw the pattern and do whatever I want. Which is way more accessible. Wow, it can do a lot, actually. It's way more accessible than, uh, for instance, automating three different parameters on five different bands, which is like 15 parameters or something. It's a lot of hassle and a lot of work. Well, this is, like, it's so visual. 
really nice. So we've got a few uh, presets. Oh, nice. Wow, it's making a circle here. Wow. Oh, it goes even further, I think. Oh, you can add. Whoa, you can even add. Holy cannoli. Okay. Oh, nice. One of the things that I'm missing in here right now, or maybe I'm overlooking it, is some kind of uh, automatic mode where it can like sync to a beat or something and then go up and down. Uh, on the other hand, we can also like just, um, just run automation like that. Because then you can make effects like this. Definitely not snake oil this, definitely not. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect actually uh, from this thing, but this is a um, super nice tool. Oh, it's going to be $49. Uh, honestly, it's worth the $49 for me. This is going to be an expensive day for me because I also need to buy the smart comp, which I reviewed this morning. I'll link it over here. Um, but but this this is really a buy for me. I, I don't like to have a lot of different plugins in my bundle. Every once in a while, there are a few plugins that just need to be added for some reason and this one is a really good one because as of lately i've been working on a few projects where i actually need to do these type of automations i think this would have saved me two or three hours which is already worth the 49 dollar uh, price so yeah definitely not snake oil as far as i can see maybe if dan warrell would do some uh some in-depth testing of this thing uh, he would maybe find a few uh, dsp things uh, uh, that are not correct in there i don't know uh, maybe not maybe not maybe they've done all of these p correctly but that's more something for him to test uh, i'll link to minimal audio in the description down below i hope they have a free trial available i don't know so yeah check it out and come back here to leave a comment down below with what you think while you're down below make sure to subscribe and consider becoming a channel member because channel members have some added benefits they have access to the q a and they also get early access to videos uh, you can become a member on youtube by using the join button uh, or on patreon uh, over here content is the same across both platforms uh, if you want to see what content you're missing out i'll link to the early access videos here and the exclusive content uh, over here thanks a lot for watching keep pushing and bye bye